What is going on guys? I am Samuel and as you might have noticed, I did not intro this video with my regular Louisiana intro and that is because today I am in Texas and I'm in Texas for a reason and that is to get redemption at Spider Mountain Bike Park. Yeehaw! So, if you remember, last year I came to Spider Mountain Bike Park in August and I brought my specialized stump jumper and the bike broke, the, for the shock was broken, and uh, we had to rent a bike to finish out the trip. So this time we are back. I have brought two bikes this time. We're gonna see if we can get redemption and make it the entire trip without having to rent a bike or get repairs on a bike. And we're gonna see just how much uh, Spider Mountain has come since last year and how much I've come as a rider and how much my bike has come and its durability. So let's get out there and see what it looks like and maybe try out some trails and start riding. Alrighty guys, here's our first ride on Spider Mountain. My brakes are working for once, which is a record for me. Caution, twite, twisty turns ahead. Oh, this is awesome. I haven't done any jumps in like two days on my bike, so I gotta get my legs used to this. We're gonna run down the jump line first, because I feel like jumps are an easy little thing to get warmed up on. And here's the new line, gap jump. I enjoy those. Wow. Those are actually massive. More gap jumps. A lot of tire sliding. I would assume we go this way. I'm not sure about that. Drop. Nice. Oh, this is a side drop. Boom! Let's get it! Cruising down. So as you can see, I'm here with my Specialized P3. It's a dirt jump bike, and we are at the Creepy Crawly and Skills Park. I think this is a little kid's park to learn how to ride uh, small bikes, but I think it's gonna be some fun stuff to maybe try and do uh, some maybe little tricks on the jump bike, so we'll see how it goes. I think they have a little drop and maybe a really tiny wheel tail that we might can jump out of. So let's see what it's like. First feature is this little bridge here. I wanna try and do a nose bonk into a tire tap 360 on that little roller there. So let's see how many tries it takes. So like I said, we're at the little kids section and here's some little kids drops. And I'm about to show you just how much fun it is possible to have on a very small feature uh, if you just try to do some stuff on it. So first thing I'm gonna do, a little bar spin. So we've been riding bikes today, as you've seen from the footage, and right now we are here at Whataburger. This is gonna be my first time ever trying one. So we're gonna get my reaction and see if it's actually worthy of the name Whataburger. Good. So, as promised, I'm going to be giving my initial reaction to a Whataburger from Texas. I've never had one before in my life. This is a very nice, large burger. I think they do deserve their name. That's a good burger. In case you don't know this, the uh, Whataburger Christina was actually founded when two guys got together and wanted to build this burger joint that whenever you got a burger from it, every time you bit into it, it would make you say, Whataburger. And uh, I didn't actually say that, but I honestly thought that in my head, and this is a Whataburger. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna seem to do this before my camera lens fogs up, but we just finished spending the night here at these little lodges here at Lake Buchanan, uh, which is right at Spider Mountain. Uh, this is a lake down there, as you can see. Right down there is a lake and have these little lodges here where you spent the night. Let me clean my lens. So today the goal is to take this camera, the Canon G7X, along with the tripod, put it in a camera bag and ride down the mountain and go jump by jump on some of the big trails and get this camera angle of some of the jumps. 
so you guys can actually get a scale for how big some of the stuff is instead of just seeing it from the GoPro. So I'm excited for that. I'm about to eat breakfast, then we're gonna get back on the trails. Uh, yesterday you did see some of the riding clips, but that was just from the GoPro, and there's a big jump trail antidote. There are also the new jump trail sidewinder, so I'm gonna be filming those and showing you guys what they're actually like and how big some of the jumps can get here at Spider Mountain Bike Park. So we made it on the lift, and if you look up there, you can see the bikes. Mine's on the left right there, so now we just have to wait for the ride up. It's about eight minutes. We got it. So the bike has survived. I didn't notice some rocks have been uh, scratching my spokes up a little bit. Uh, actually, wait, that might be sand. There are some scratch spokes from the rocks, but other than that, there is no damage at all done to the bikes. They're holding up great. And I met this guy here who works here. I think he's an instructor named Justin. Super cool guy, and what he's gonna do is in about an hour, I'm gonna give him my GoPro, and he's gonna make some follow laps down the mountain so you guys can actually get a better perspective of what my riding is like instead of from the first person GoPro view, which is good for a lot of stuff, but it's just not the best angle. So this is gonna be really cool. We're gonna see what riding down Spider Mountain is like from a third person view, and I hope you guys are ready for it. It. Massive shout out to Justin at Spider Mountain for hooking me up like this and for hooking you guys up with his camera view. I'm really excited and we're about to go do it. So let's ride. So my next run I'm going to do is going to be down the uh, Tarantula Trail, which is my favorite one from last year. So I'm excited to see how well I do on it. I've kind of felt warmed up on the jumps. I'm feeling good, uh, feeling confident in the bike, feeling confident in my legs, which actually sounds weird, but when you first start riding jumps, you gotta get your legs kind of in the, in the mood to be doing jumps, and I'm ready right now. So we're gonna ride Tarantula and see how that goes, and if there's any improvement from last year, and if I make it over all of the jumps, because last year I was casing a little bit, so it'll be interested to see how I do this year. Thanks, man. All right, here's the big boy stuff. Boom! Those rocks are hard. Oh yeah, let's go. Drop more Rockies. Ah. 
So I finished trench the trail. I saw it was super fun. I made it over all the jumps all the way. I over cleared some. So that was awesome. And now we're about to try Sidewinder. This has a uh, shark fin on, I think. And shark fins are really weird jumps to ride. So we're gonna see how this goes. I rode a little bit yesterday, but not uh not not I wasn't warmed up, so I wasn't I wasn't riding it to actually go all the way on everything. So we're gonna see how it rides today. Uh we're gonna do a little maybe a practice lap first and then, then go flat out and see what it's like. That was awesome. Nose bonk. Double drops. Oh. You cannot hesitate on those. You gotta commit and follow through. Big jump. So our lodge is right up there. You can see it right there. And out here is Lake Buchanan, which is what the lodge is positioned on. You can see I'm on the, the boat launch right now. You see some of the water, but this is Lake Buchanan out here. So we're here at Spider Mountain Lodge and I just met these two doggos. Uh, their names are Bandit and Precious. And Precious. They are some excited little creatures. <laughs> So as you saw, I did some big bike riding and now I've heard that there's this park a couple miles down the road, about two and a half miles, that has some dirt jumps. So we're gonna take the dirt jump bike, which I haven't really gotten an opportunity to ride yet. I've been at the little kids park where I did some small tricks. We're gonna see if there's any uh, actual dirt jumps here, if I can ride and we're gonna see what it's like. I'm not sure if they're gonna be some big lines or if you have to push up a lot and then roll down a lot. We're gonna see what it's like, see if I can ride the jump bike and see how many options you have for bikes around Texas and Burnett other than just Spider Mountain. So let's go check them out. It's called Reveille Bike Park and I think it's an entire ranch that just does a lot of stuff and has some amenities for biking so we're gonna see what it's like. So we are out here at Reveille Bike Park. Uh, this is actually an entire ranch and right here is a little check-in sign so we're gonna see what you need to do to get in here. So we were told the way to get here is to turn onto this road and then we wait for the second pedestrian bridge which goes over the road and there is a gate there that we need to get through. So that's what we're on the lookout for. These dirt jumps are kind of out here way out in the ranch but it should be pretty exciting since it seems to be kind of private property and I've heard that kind of private jumps are upkept more than in big parks. So we'll see what it's like. Kind of interested for the experience and this is a Texas bike scene. Here is one pedestrian bridge right here and we were told that at the second one is the gate we need to get to these dirt jumps. And here is the second bridge where we have to get out and unlock the gate. I'm not going to share the password with you guys because I don't think the owners would appreciate that. Yeah, Gates are locked. We have the jump bike and now it's time to find where the jumps are. So that was a little riding we did at the Reveille Bike Park on the jump bike. I didn't ride a whole lot there because I'm exhausted, but that is what that park looks like. It's a really cool park. Definitely check it out if you're near Spider Mountain and want to hit some jumps. The downside at Reveille Bike Park is all these prickly little things that I picked up and they hurt so bad. And I was constantly being stabbed in the ankle and my tire would kick them up into my chest. So watch out for these little Texas pricklies if you ride out at Reveille Bike Park because they are annoying. Ah, they hurt. So after a day and a half of riding here at Spider Mountain Bike Park and also riding at the Reveille Mountain Bike Park, here are my final thoughts on the biking scene in Burnett, Texas. First off, Spider Mountain Bike Park here is huge. They have some new trails and there's a very dedicated team here always working on them. They look awesome, they ride well, and also a massive shout out to Justin here from Spider Mountain that followed me, or actually ran in front of me, done some of the trails, got some of the awesome footage and hooked you guys up with that view. And also a massive shout out to him for telling us about the Reveille Bike Park, which I went and rode on the jump bike. 
The drops there were awesome. I only got to the second, which is about 10 feet, but that was an awesome drop. The jumps there were amazing, and I was my legs were worn out from riding today, so I didn't do that much. I did do a little bit, but it was super fun. So the, if you come to Spider Mountain Bike Park, you definitely need to go to Reveille Bike Park if you want some more jumps. And I've heard there are some flow trails there. I did not ride them, though, because I was only on my hardtail. So those are my final thoughts from spider mountain bike park and uh, the biking scene out here there's a lot of really really cool stuff to ride and there's of course the lodge here on lake buchanan so it's been an awesome trip and i hope you guys have enjoyed the video so i would really like to thank my grandfather for bringing me on this trip it's been a super fun trip and he's done a lot of filming he did all the driving he was my chauffeur so thank you so much to him i really hope you guys enjoyed this video because i had a blast and i hope you guys have a blast watching it and just like that I'm going to end this video out. we got a four hour drive tonight and we're driving tomorrow to get home back to Louisiana. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.